Welcome. In a previous video, I did an unboxing and setup of an N-Mesh Smart Mesh Router. It was the ESR 532 pack. And this was provided me by Ingenious, but they're not paying me to make this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. So I'll put a link in the description to that video. And I'll also put a link to the hardware on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in the previous video, I set up the router. I connected it up to the internet. So right now I have my modem plugged into one of these Wi-Fi access points. And then the other one is connected via the Wi-Fi mesh. And I'm on my iPad here and we have this interface. It has a speed test here and I'm getting what I expected for internet speed. And we have the connection status down below. It shows one device. The main router is in the living room, and then that's connected up to the internet. So I'll start up here in the right-hand corner. There's a little information icon. It says check the device's LED indicator or the app display to see your connection status. So stable connection is white, spotty connection is orange, disconnection is red. It says be sure the devices are within 10 meters of each other. I'll go back. So now I'll go through the boxes at the top. We have one that says Wi-Fi. I'll hit that. This is the Wi-Fi SSID. We have the encryption type here. We can do disabled or WPA2. It doesn't allow you to do the older uh, deprecated encryption types. I'll click advanced settings. So here we have the 4.2 gigahertz and the five gigahertz. Channel is set to auto. Bandwidth is set to 20 for 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz is auto and 80 megahertz. So here we could change that to 20 or 40. And this one we could change to 20, 20, 40 or 40. Go back there. Down below that we have guest Wi-Fi. So if we turn that on, we can do the ingenious guest network and have a password. We have the same encryption settings. So guest Wi-Fi is handy if you have guests at your house and you don't want to give them your main Wi-Fi password. You can set up the guest network and this will allow them to have internet access separate from your wireless network. So at the top here, there's a little share icon. I'd hit it, but it has a lot of personal information there that I'd have to censor out anyway. So if you hit that, it allows you to send the credentials to someone. So I'll turn that off for now. I'll go back. We have diagnosis. And we just did the internet speed test, so that's up to date. And then there's a mesh speed test. I'll run that test. Okay, so we have our transmit rate is 244 megabits per second, and our receive rate is 243 megabits per second. Okay, so I'll go back. I'll hit devices. This shows our two devices. We have living room here, and we have the second access point. So it has the MAC address of each one, and the IP address of each one. That tells which clients are connected. It says distance between devices. I'll hit optimum range. It says the optimum range between each node is based on their connection quality value. Devices that are too close or too far will not offer a quality mesh connection. Okay, so I just connected up my MacBook to this. So on the main router, we have the iPad connection. On the other one, we have it connected to the MacBook Pro. There's also this little gear here. This allows us to turn the internet on and off. So I can turn off the LED indicators. So if you had this in a bedroom, you could turn that off if it's bothering you when you're trying to sleep. You don't have to put a piece of tape over it. Then it has Samba here, that's for file sharing. I'll cover that in a different video. Then we have WPS, that's Wi-Fi protected setup and that's used to set up certain uh, Wi-Fi devices. Then here we have restart device and factory reset. I'll hit back there, hit back there. Then we have parental control. So you have individual users and guest network. So if I hit the MacBook Pro here, it says QoS settings, set high priority to get faster access to your network. So it has normal and high priority. Then we have set rules. And at the bottom we have apply from rule list. I'll hit that, add new rule. So we can do a rule name here. We have weekly schedule. So it says disconnect the internet at a scheduled weekly time. So you could turn it off at night when you don't want your kids on it. Then we have web filter and you can filter out social media, Facebook, Flickr, Instagram. Looks like you can add other ones there. There's search engine. We have Bing, Google, and Yahoo, video media, HBO, MBL, and Netflix, and custom URL. So that's the web filter. I'll get out of that. Go back to the main page. So if we hit the menu in the upper left here, we have a couple more choices. So we have Wi-Fi devices. We've looked at that. We've looked at parental control. We've looked at diagnosis. If you go to advanced, it'll take you to the web interface. I'm not going to cover that in this video. If we look at settings, you can change your NMesh account, change your password here. We have system information, internet information. So we have the internet type, the IP address, the gateway, DNS. If I hit internet, we have the PoE account. Firmware upgrade tells us the firmware version and it's checking them and this will update automatically if you have this check down here where it says update automatically. So I can check one of those. I can hit next and it will download the upgrade and then I can hit upgrade. I'm not going to do that right now. Do that later. I'll probably actually turn auto update on. I don't want to update while I'm making the video though. I'll back out of here. We have date and time. My time zone says England. I'll change that to central time zone. Then we have country code. I already set that up and then we have language. So those are the features on the NMesh app. I'll make a future video and I'll look at the web interface also. If you have any questions in the meantime, 
please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.